The next tool is called Slip Tool. It is a trim tool, but it doesn't really trim the length of the clip. It's actually just rotating the content inside each clip. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out here. So as we can see, so for example, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this clip to make it much shorter, right? Oh, let's do this one with the cat actually, so it's real more obvious, okay? So as we can see, the cat starts walking here, then it goes here, then it goes and lay down on the grass. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna trim this clip down so it's way smaller. Let's say we need to have this timeline to be 30 seconds and no more, okay? So we'll go 30. So let's say we gotta get the timeline 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna trim this clip over here. Right now we see the cat start walking, but for example, if I wanna have the footage where the cat start laying on the ground instead of walking, so how would I do that? Well, of course, you can go ahead and open it in the source monitor, find the place that you need, put the mark in, mark out, and then replace this clip on the timeline. But it's actually a lot more steps to do and it takes more, much more time. Instead of that, what we can do, we can just use a slip tool. And the slip tool has a shortcut key Y. So I can just choose that. And what it does, it's actually slipping the content inside the file. And what I mean by that, if you grab it inside the clip here, you can see when it moves, you have two windows right here. The window on the left is showing what's actually in the clip right now and the window on the right is going to be showing what will be in the clip. So I wanted to put when the cat starts laying down. So let's go ahead and find that moment. Okay, there we go. So beautiful. Let's just do it like this right here. So okay, now let's go ahead and check it out right now. There we go. So this is it. It basically spin the content inside the clip. So this is it guys, I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you have any comments or questions, leave in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Also let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want me to make. I hope you have a nice day, I'll see you soon, bye bye.